Hello, everyone, and welcome to Devotional Life with Paul. And Jeannie. Glad that you have joined us today. And Jeannie, that was a fun one we went through, the forgiveness with blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to put ourselves in the brother's position and think yeah, what it's like to be let yeah. off the hook, forgiven, but then on top of that, he's going to bless you. Yeah. We were trying to walk a mile in their sandals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's asking him to come close, you know, to touch his face, to hear his voice, recognize him. Yeah. And uh, verse four of... So we're just going to go right into it. Okay. Yes. Joseph has... Now, I think let's give a little bit. Uh, Joseph is overwhelmed at the plea that's made by Judah to stay with Joseph and sacrifice himself, sacrifice himself and send Benjamin home, the youngest. With his brothers to his dad. Yeah. And at the, this all hits him at once. He's overwhelmed with emotion. He, uh, I think he's convinced at this point that there's been true change and repentance because when somebody is sorry, they become selfless. They become other centered not just defending their rights or making excuses for why they did what they did. Mm -hmm. That's not there anymore. Not blaming anybody Which with else. marriage counseling, we find that a lot. We're telling people, and I tell myself, don't get defensive, you know? Take it to the Lord and um, yeah. let him sift through it. But don't just shoot it back or you go the tit for tat, the tit for tat, and you right. go into this crazy cycle. But he, so. but she, but he, yeah. but she. And that gets nowhere. Who's worse than others and, right. you know, whatever. Lord so um, verse 4, and Joseph said to his brothers, please come near to me. So they came near, and he said, I am Joseph, again. Whom you, <laughs> now he says, whom you sold into Egypt. Wow. Now this is the clincher of the whole Yeah story and it is. just yeah let your ears it's one of up. those moments that you just gonna go oh. and he says to them but now do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves what grace i know he's an amazing guy joseph he sure is don't be grieved or angry with yourself because you sold me here for god sent me before you to preserve life for these two years, the famine has been in the land, and there's still five more years, which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. And God mm -hmm. sent me before you to preserve a posterity for you in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Wow. So now it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and the Lord of all this house and ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. My goodness. That's mind-blowing there. You wonder when Joseph finally got this whole picture and realized this. I mean, was it right then at that moment? Or was it accumulating? <laughs> but what are they thinking when they're listening to this, you know? Um, I don't know. It just gives me chills to think that you could go through such suffering, and as we've talked about many times, he, he kept giving it to the Lord, kept giving it to the Lord, kept yeah. giving it to the Lord, and he felt trapped in those days. He didn't know what was around the corner, and now he has the privilege of looking back, which happens to us as we look back over our life. And he's able to see the big picture, which we're really going to have happen when we get to heaven. Yes. We're going to have a lot of questions answered there that we don't get to see now. Yes. Now, he says to them, I am Joseph, whom you sold into slavery. Right. I think at that point, they might be quaking. They're still not quite sure mm -hmm. what's going to happen. So he fills that in with, you know. Don't be angry at yourself. Don't. So they must have had that look on their face. And like, don't be grieved and don't be angry at yourself. Yeah. Right. So they were getting it. Yes. They, they were just scared. They they had the conviction come on them. And so he's he's comforting them. Yeah. He's actually the one who's comforting them. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I want you to think for a moment of the nation of Israel. Jesus, uh, it, it says in the word of God in John chapter 1, he came to his own and his own did not receive him. So we all know that the picture all through the Gospels and the Old Testament as well is 
them his brothers turning their backs on him. So Joseph is very much a type of Christ. But when the brother, his brethren come to repent right. and understand what they've done, uh, Jesus is forgives. Like those soldiers that nailed him to the cross. Yeah. Don't be angry with yourself. God had a plan here. And yes. now you get to enjoy the deliverance and the forgiveness on the other side of that plan. Well, that's just so beautiful. So um, how would you feel about your own life personally to look back and look at those times of suffering and to consider that they weren't just allowed, but maybe it was a part of a designed plan of God to bring good on the other side. I mean, if you can have that as hope in your heart so that you can believe that nothing you go through is wasted. Right. I mean, that is just exhilarating. It is. You know? and, but you have to go through the nitty gritty one day at a time of trusting God, forgiving others, giving your pain to the Lord, you know, and keeping your heart soft so that you can get to the end of the picture mm -hmm. and look back and see how he worked it all out for good. Yes. At any point, you can decide to... Become bitter and get stuck, like we talked about, your yeah. heart turning to cement. Well, what was that? You used to, I don't think you did a teaching on that called Bitter or Better. Right. So that's all connected to our hope in God, and that he doesn't leave us alone, and he's got a bigger picture. I know that. I've told that to my kids, my grandkids. God has a plan. So even though we can't see the forest for the trees, keep trusting <laughs> him. That's beautiful. Does that do it for today? Yes, we all have a destiny that we're moving towards. Okay. Destiny up ahead. Next stop. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today and for allowing us to spend this time in the Word with our brothers and sisters, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that when we come to you repentant, knowing what we have done, that what you do is forgive us. In fact, Father, forgive us right now of our sins. And call us in close to you. We put our faith in Jesus, who died for our sins and rose from the dead. Bless my brothers and sisters. Encourage their hearts and lives today. For we pray these things in Jesus' wonderful name. And everyone says, Amen. God bless you. We'll see you soon.